everyone! Finally, today's the day we get to make a campfire classic and one of my favorites, chili. Now I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the ingredients I use are from cans. That's because I'm a practical cooker. Can you do your tomatoes and beans from scratch? Absolutely, but we're camping and so we like to keep all of our canned beans and tomatoes on hand so that anytime we wanna make chili, all we have to do is buy meat and we're good to go. So for my chili today, we're gonna use cans of diced tomatoes, cans of beans, cans of green chilies. I'm also gonna cut up a fresh onion and a couple of fresh jalapenos, which are optional. And then you have some options for meat. A lot of times for me, I'll go for either a ground beef or a ground turkey, but most commonly, I go for what's on sale. And what we found most recently was this chopped up beef for caldillo. And then we have this turkey kielbasa in the fridge, which needs to be eaten. I'm gonna throw that in there too. Normally, I use kidney beans, black beans, and pinto beans. And finally, we've had this can of corn sitting in our cabinet since last January, like a year and a half ago. I've never put corn in chili, but we're just gonna go crazy. We're gonna see what happens. I think it'll be okay. The utensils you need are also super simple. You just need a knife, a spoon or spatula, a can opener, which we'll talk about later, and of course, a giant pot. But if you're cooking over the fire, you're gonna want cast iron. So while this recipe has kind of a long cook time, the prep is very little. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start with my veggies, my onions, Next is gonna be your jalapenos. Now these are totally optional. Personally, I'm gonna take out all the seeds and put in three jalapenos because I know Kendrick likes a little bit of kick to his chili. <laughs> Conveniently, our beef is already all chopped up. However, I am gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper seasoning on it, even though we're gonna season the chili later. And lastly, I'm gonna chop up our turkey kielbasa and add that to the meat mix. This here is pretty much all the indoor prep we need to do. Let's take this party outside where Kendrick should be building us a fire. All right, once your cast iron is sufficiently heated up, we're going to start by adding our meat. We've done some beef and um, turkey kielbasa. Obviously you can do whatever you want, ground pork, ground turkey, and we're gonna let that get brown and then we're gonna add our veggies. Most people have normal can openers at home, but we have this little guy. This is my trusty can opener that I bought for my first backpacking trip to Patagonia back in 2013, and it's still been working. I do recommend draining the liquid out of your beans and your tomatoes if you don't want your chili to be super, super soupy. Super soupy. All right, once that cooks down a little bit, we're gonna add everything else. Our tomatoes, our beans, our corns, and our green chili peppers. Once everything's in the pot, we get to season. Salt and pepper, garlic, and of course, chili powder. Uh, you pretty much season to taste and let it sit as long as you wanna let it sit. The longer, the better. So let's get on this. So the best thing to go along with chili is obviously cornbread and we're campers, so I'm gonna do it Jiffy style. Now, you don't need somebody to teach you how to make Jiffy cornbread. It takes an egg and milk and you mix it all up and you bake it. But when you're camping, uh, the Omnia oven, which you guys know I'm so happy with, does make this really cool little insert. It's a silicone liner that pops out to make these little muffin cups. And it's awesome, so I'm going to make my Jiffy cornbread in these little muffin cups. Oh my god, look at that chili. So our chili has been sitting on the fire for a couple of hours now. We've tasted it a few times, added a little bit of seasoning, rotated it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing. All right, our chili's ready. So one last thing to do, eat it. Make me take it off the fire so if I drop it, it's my fault. Always wear the proper PPE, flip-flops, flannel shirt and shorts. That way, you spill anything or drop it, you're safe. Oh 
Oh yeah, that looks freaking amazing. My cornbread, can you believe we did this on the stove? That will just melt on there in a minute because that chili is hot with a side of whiskey. It's a big bite. That's pretty dang good. Well, Mandy has made me chili probably, I don't know, close to a handful of times now, but this was the first time over a campfire. I think it makes a pretty good difference. So, cheers. It doesn't matter what you put in your chili, if you cook it over a campfire, you get to eat it by the campfire, which just makes it like a thousand times better. Let me add on to that. It does matter what you put into your chili. Chili needs beans. <laughs> if it doesn't have beans, it ain't chili. Hopefully you can make chili over the fire yourself and enjoy it along with us. So here's to more campfire cooking. Love and light.